Hi, welcome to the second part of the video series about work and energy. In the previous video, we looked at what work is and how it is used in physics and ordinary speech differently. Next, we solved two examples demonstrating how to calculate the work done on an object. Friction force is one of the most important forces to consider in this topic. In order to learn how to calculate the work done by friction force, we will solve a couple of examples in this video. A 250 kg box is sliding across a rough horizontal surface. The coefficient of kinetic friction between the box and the surface is 0.2. How much work does the kinetic friction force do on the box over 40 meters? In the case that it is not provided, it is always a good idea to draw a picture or diagram for this type of question. We can easily see all of the information provided in the question on this diagram. 40 meters of displacement, a 0.2 coefficient of friction, and a force of friction that opposes the direction of motion. Then we write down the equation for work, which is force times displacement times the cosine of the angle. The kinetic friction force is equal to the product of the coefficient of friction and the normal force which in this case is equal to the mass multiplied by the gravitational acceleration. To learn more about the normal force, we can click the link above. Except for the angle of theta, we have all the values required to determine the work done. Theta, as we already know, is the angle between the force and displacement. The displacement of the object on this diagram is to the right. Meanwhile, the friction force acts in the opposite direction. There is a 180 degree angle between these two. This is almost always the case, particularly for the caps aligned exams. We might also draw the displacement to the left for this question, since the friction force would still be opposing it and the angle between the two would remain at 180 degrees. There would be no issues. 0.2 times 250 times 9.8 multiplied by 40 multiplied by cosine 180 is equal to minus 19,600 joules. In the second example, a scale of mass 70 kg is sliding down a snowy slope, which makes a 25 degrees angle with the horizontal. The coefficient of kinetic friction between the scale and the surface is 0.2. How much work does the kinetic friction force do on the scale sliding down the 100 meters ramp? Once more, let's create a diagram that will allow us to quickly see all the information in the question. Almost all of the previous steps are repeated for this question. The first difference is that the normal force on an inclined plane is determined by multiplying the mass by the gravitational acceleration and the cosine of the angle of incline. The two angles in this equation are frequently confused, which is one of the common mistakes. The first angle is the inclination angle, while the second one is the angle between force and displacement. The angle of incline is 25 degrees. Even if we don't have to, let's draw the force and displacement directions again to make sure everything is understood. The scale is moving down the slope, and the friction force is acting in the opposite direction. Consequently, the angle is once more 180 degrees. Coefficient of friction is 0.2, mass of the scale is 70 kg, gravitational acceleration is 9.8 meters per second square, the angle of incline is 25 degrees, the displacement is 100 meters, and the angle between the displacement and the force of friction is 180 degrees. Work done by friction force is equal to minus 12,434.54 joules. In this video, two examples that demonstrate how to calculate the work done by friction force have been solved. We will see how to calculate the work done by the force of gravity in the next video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications in order to be updated about the new videos.